Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to use these images to create a holiday card, but first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs, but specifically, I'd like to point you to the pre-owned department. If you're looking for used gear they are updating their inventory on a very regular basis so definitely check it out i have this template that i purchased a few years ago that i'd like to use to show you how to place these images inside of clipping masks but i have three images open and only two frames and that's because i want to show you how you can use images that have a different aspect ratio to fit into a certain area and you'll also begin to understand why sometimes it's better to pick one type of image orientation over the other. So let's begin by selecting this image, pressing V on the keyboard in order to select the move tool, clicking inside of this canvas and then just simply dragging this image onto this document. Now I won't be needing this anymore, so I'll go ahead and close it and I will just repeat that process for these other two images so that I have them in the document and I can close them and remove them from my view. I'm going to press F in order to enter full screen mode. That's just a personal preference on how I like to work. I have these three layers with the photos and I wanted to demonstrate how this can look. So let's begin with layer seven and I'd like to put layer seven in the left photo. So what you'll need to do is click and drag layer seven until it is just above the left photo layer. Now, if I turn the visibility on for that layer, you'll see that the photo is rather large and not confined to the proper area. So this is where you would hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and hover your mouse in between those layers until your cursor changes. So you'll notice it's a hand, but as I move my cursor down, it changes to this clipping mask icon. I'm holding down Alt or Option, and then I am clicking. And now it has clipped that image inside of the left photo frame. Typically you'll see this when you purchase templates. They have something that says clip here or place photo here. This is what they're referencing. Now obviously it's too big and it's not positioned properly. So what I would like to do is press Command or Control T on the keyboard in order to access the free transform tool. Now in this case, the handles are beyond my view. So a quick shortcut to view them is Command zero or Control zero on the PC. Now I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard in order to constrain this. Otherwise you will mess with the ratio and it won't look right. But I'm holding down shift and dragging and then strange things happen. Photoshop moves things all over the screen. So I'm just going to reposition that with my space bar. Command plus, control plus to zoom in. Holding down shift again. I'm just bringing this in by clicking and dragging and then placing my cursor inside of there and moving. Now be careful, you don't wanna place your cursor here, that's the anchor point. You wanna just make sure it's inside of that frame. So then I can start to move this around and continue to hold down shift and reposition and just place it exactly where and how I would like it. Now also, because this particular frame is tilted a little bit to the left, I can place my cursor on any outside corner and rotate this image so that it looks like it fits in there a little bit better. When you are happy with the results, you may press enter or return on your keyboard in order to commit that change. I'm going to repeat this process for the right frame but I'm going to use the image that was landscape in its orientation. So I have layer eight right above right photo clip here. You can see that in the layers palette. If I hold down alter option again and hover my cursor until it changes, I can click in order to clip that image and then command or control T again, command or control zero, holding down shift to constrain to the original ratio. And we're just repeating this process. I am mistaken. I grabbed the image that was portrait. I'm going to go grab that landscape image in just a moment. Command or control plus to zoom in. 
Again, with my cursor over the corner, it turns into a rotate handle and I can just move that here and press enter or return to commit. Now let's grab this layer nine and what I'm gonna do is click layer nine and drag it below layer eight. So it automatically clipped itself. I didn't need to do that because layer eight was already clipped. Now I've turned off the visibility of layer eight. There it is, let's turn that off again. So now I have the landscape image in this photo frame. So we'll repeat the process of command or control T, command or control zero, and then holding down shift to constrain and clicking and dragging to reposition and rotate. We'll zoom in again with the command or control plus, and you can see that I am able to use a landscape image inside of this frame that just makes it look like it's cropped in a little bit tighter, and you can experiment with this. But the point in showing you how that works here is because these are square frames. Again, I'm going to press enter or return to commit. If you purchase a template that has a portrait design to it, you are most likely <laughs> going to want to use a portrait image and the same for landscape. But if I decided I liked layer eight in there better than nine, obviously you could make a choice in terms of which image you selected. But I hope that you found this useful and you'll create beautiful Christmas cards for your clients. I'll see you in the next video.